Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. Happy Friday! It's Friday so it's another way in day. I'm going to share with you guys how my week went, we'll set some goals for next week, of course I'll share my weigh in and we'll talk all about the WW workshop topic. So if you're excited for another Friday weigh in, give this video a thumbs up. It really means a lot to me and definitely helps out my channel. And if you're new or you're not yet subscribed, of course, I'd love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and click the bell next to it so you never miss a Friday weigh-in or any other video. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories. Absolutely essential whether you're on WW or not. You have to know how many calories you should be eating every single day to see success. And if you want to chat with me directly, I offer one-on-one -on -one individual coaching as well. Links, discounts, to all my favorite things and of course my Facebook group another community that would love to have you are all linked down in that description box so let's jump into another Friday weigh-in video you had an absolutely beautiful week. The weather here has been hit and miss. We had a huge, huge storm Monday night, 60 mile an hour winds, thunder, lightning, and then the rest of the week, it's been hot and beautiful. So I guess you never know what you're going to get weather this time of year. But I had a great week overall. Things in my life are still a little bit of a mess. They're still extremely busy. Luckily, real estate, all of the busyness has kind of went away because now we're just waiting for houses to close and for them to get the keys. So it's more of a waiting game than it is a really busy season for my current clients in real estate. So that's been nice to take that off of my plate a little bit. I did get to go to Jazzercise three times like I prefer this last week. And of course, every session was hard, sweaty, but yet amazing. I always feel so good after I finish my workout. I do have to say that I had no problem reaching my protein goal this week, but I did struggle a little bit in the food department. I didn't make the best food choices this last week. I was still able to hit my protein goal, but I ate a little bit more fake, as I like to call it, protein than I normally would. This means like protein shakes, protein bars. Normally I like to get the majority of my protein from whole real food, but just being busy and on the go a lot, and then lots going on with diesel and Palmer. I did share an update on diesel in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. So if you haven't seen that, definitely go check that out so you can get updated on diesel. So I just ended up having to choose a little bit more convenient food than I would have liked this last week, but overall, I still feel like my week was good. But before we jump into this week's weigh-in, let's chat a little bit about this week's WW workshop topic. I'm pretty excited about this topic. It's called stuck in a food rut. This can help you. If you're someone that eats the same thing day in and day out, I know that I'm guilty of this pretty regularly. It's time to mix it up. It's time to try some new foods. The first thing you can do is really explore your grocery store. Spend some time walking up and down all of the aisles. Not only is it steps and good exercise, it's a great way to see what may be new or something that you missed in your previous grocery shopping trips. You can also try building a meal around an ingredient that you've never tried before. So if you see something at the grocery store that piques your interest, try building a meal around that particular ingredient. You can explore the recipe feature of your WW app. There are so many amazing recipes that are part of the app. You can simply type in the new food that you found and it should bring up some recipes that feature that food. And then all you have to do from there is start cooking. When you're at the grocery store, focus on the areas where you're going to find zero point or low point foods. Fresh foods, frozen food, canned fruits, vegetables, and a lot of the low fat or fat free dairy. Another thing you can do to change it up is try a new method of cooking. If you love your go-to ingredients, if you are a huge fan of chicken breast, then find a new way to prepare it. So you're getting that favorite food, but you're just getting it in a little bit different fashion. And again, maybe you're going to find a new preparation method or recipe that you fall in love with. So some ideas for this may be if you are someone who always grills or bakes your chicken, how about popping it into your air fryer, instant pot, or even pan frying it on the stove. Another thing you can do is flavor up your food. Add some new flavorings or 
seasonings that have been sitting in your cabinet that you haven't used in ages. Herbs and spices are zero points, so it's a great way to spice up, no pun intended, and add some extra flavor to your food. Having healthy options we love and some of our go-to foods is essential for us to be successful on our weight loss journey. But that doesn't mean that we have to eat the same food all the time, prepared the same way, using the same spices. Just spice up your life a little bit and try something new with your go-to favorites. And also remember that our bodies get used to what we're eating so sometimes we need to shake things up a little bit in the food department to get the scale moving in the right direction or to just feel a renewed sense of excitement for our weight loss plan. I'm definitely going to try out a new seasoning, spice, or a new cooking method this next week in one of my dinner recipes. So I like this topic. I find I know for me I can get in a food rut. I do meal prep so I generally eat the same breakfast and lunch all week. And honestly, by the end of the week, I'm ready to move on to something new. So this is a great topic if you are someone that just gravitates towards the same old, same old when it comes to the foods that you're eating. So let me know down in the comments if you're somebody that stays in the food rut, that just eats the same foods over and over again. And also let me know one new food that you're interested in trying out this next week. So now let's jump in to my weigh-in. Like I said, I was so excited to get in my three sessions of jazzercise. My food was okay. I would say that I ate good healthy food 80% of the time this last week. Normally I try to have my percentage be a bit higher, but 80% is definitely nothing to shake a stick at. So when I stepped on the scale for my third weigh-in in the month of June, I'm still down. I am down an additional 0.4 pounds. I'm thrilled with any movement in the right direction on the scale. And as I've said several times, the scale isn't the be all end all for me. It's more about establishing good, healthy food habits and moving my body and getting myself into a healthier mental state of mind when it comes to my lifestyle, my weight loss, and my overall health. So I'll take my 0.4 and I'll run with it. I definitely want to hear from you guys down in the comments how your week was. Was it successful for you? Did you gain? Did you lose? And of course, share the new food that you want to try this week and if you are someone that finds yourself in a food rut. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I love chatting with you guys every Friday. This is one of my favorite videos to film because I feel like I'm just talking to a good friend, sharing my week, tips and tricks. So again, one of my favorite videos to film. If you enjoyed this weigh-in, give it a thumbs up. And again, if you're new or you're not yet subscribed, you know I'd love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and click the bell right next to it so you don't miss a single video. Links, discounts to my favorite things, nutrition coaching, and of course my Facebook group, Come over and join us there are also down in the description box. Happy Friday, friends, and I'll see you all in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye.